Hi guys, today we are reading Little Ghoul Goes to School by Jess Shazak. It's a great back to school book from HarperCollins Children's. Um, I thought it was a great take. Little Ghoul is getting so many unexpected surprises at their first day back to school. Did you get unexpected surprises at your first day back to school? And can you guess the ending of this book? Will it turn out the way Little Ghoul expects? I hope you enjoy it and have a laugh as you read. Little Ghoul Goes to School by Jeff Sazak. Tomorrow was the first day of school and Little Ghoul was nervous. Don't worry, my little maggot, said her mother. I'm sure school will be just ghastly. Her mom sat with her and explained how horrible the first day of school would be. It made Little Ghoul feel a little better. Little Ghoul devoured a bedtime snack. She brushed her teeth with a rotten onion-flavored toothpaste. She jumped into bed. Her mom slobbered on her and tenderly said, I hope you have dreadful nightmares. Little Ghoul was still thinking about school as she closed her eyes and drifted off to sleep. When Little Ghoul's eyes popped open, it was morning. She had been hoping, for the, hoping the weather for her first day of school would be her favorite, cold and rainy. But alas, it was bright and sunny. Her mom licked her goodbye and Little Ghoul headed to the bus stop. Her mom had explained that the school bus would be an old scrap heap with a terrifying driver. But when it arrived, the bus looked safe and the driver was friendly. Welcome aboard, he said. This was awful, but that wasn't nearly as bad as when they arrived at school. The principal waited outside to greet everyone with a huge smile on her face. Good morning. It's great to see you, Principal Edelman said. Little Ghoul hoped the classroom would be dark and dank and the teacher would be mean, but she was disappointed again. At least lunch would be disgusting. Her mom had promised to pack her favorites, a maggot and brown banana peel sandwich, rotten milk, and a pickle and fishbone cookie for dessert. But inside her lunchbox, she found a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. There was even a chocolate chip cookie. Ew! At this point, Little Ghoul was sure that she hated school. She sat on the floor as the librarian explained how they would use their library cards. There was something familiar about Miss Shelley, but Little Ghoul couldn't quite put her finger on it. Miss Shelley told them that each student would get to take a library book home. Little Ghoul had a hard time choosing. Luckily, Miss Shelley had a suggestion. Then it was time for art class. Little Ghoul made a mess. She tore paper, she threw paint, she glued scraps of fabric to the torn paper and thrown paint. Wow, said Mr. Ryder, the art teacher. That's powerful. I can really feel the energy and emotion in your work. Let's put it in the student art show. Just when Little Ghoul was thinking she might actually survive the first day of school, the unthinkable happened. Hi, said a smiling boy. My name is Ben. Let's be friends. Friends? Friends? Ghouls don't have friends. Ghouls are too creepy, spooky, and spine-chilling to have friends. So Little Ghoul did the only sensible thing she could think of. She ran away screaming. Little Ghoul was still screaming when she opened her eyes. Mom, I dreamed that I went to school and everyone was nice. It was awful. Oh, my little maggot, said her mom. That was just a dream. Now it's time for you to get ready for your real first day of school. Little Ghoul was nervous as she headed to the bus stop, but happily the weather was cold and rainy. The school bus was rusty and filled with unsavory creatures. Her teacher was hideous. Lunch was absolutely repulsive. And when she saw the librarian, Miss Shelley, Little Ghoul knew everything would be all right. You have been listening to Little Ghoul Goes to School by Jeff Sazak.